In this video, we want to speak about role forming machine part spacers and chimes. And you get an answer, why spacers are used in role forming machines? And we show you how to adjust the rollers of the role forming machine? So will be with us and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Spacers. The total length of the rolls is dictated by good design practice. The difference between the available roll space and the roll length is filled with less expensive spacers. Spacers are usually manufactured from seamless carbon steel tubes. Typical wall thickness is around 5 inches. Thinner wall tubes are less expensive, but the over-tightening of nuts at the end of the shafts and other misuses can extrude the spacer into a gap created by too large a radius at the roll bore. Create other problems. Large diameter rolls used to form thick material require spacers with substantially thicker walls. The minimum and maximum lengths of spacers are restricted by the manufacturing technology. The maximum length is limited by the key cutting capacity and the safe grinding length. The spacers are part of the roll set. Therefore, their length tolerances and the parallels of their ends are critical. Can have a larger plus tolerance than roll keyways. Spacers. Installed without keyways can rotate on the shafts. Rotating spacers can damage the shafts and will reduce not only the length of the spacer but also grind into the hardened rolls. The grinding action is accelerated by the presence of abrasive materials such as iron oxide, aluminum oxide, chips, and so on, penetrating in between the spacers and rolls. Heat treatment of spacers is not essential but the spacers should be handled carefully and not be abused. The marking should be on the outside surface of the spacers and a turned groove. If the spacer is too short to stamp the marking on the outside surface, then it can be stamped on the flat end. In this case, the marking should be made before the final grinding to length operation. The most frequently used so-called standard spacers are made out of one piece as split spacers. Split spacers can reduce roll change over time of multiple width sections. Instead of removing the nuts from the end of the shafts, pulling off the stands, rolls, and spacers, it can be sufficient to loosen the nuts and pull the operator side stand out by approximately. The gap will allow the removal of the split spacers and the replacement of them into new locations. This method can reduce roll change time by about 70 to 80%. For example, 
10 to 24 men per pass changeover using standard spacers can be reduced to 3 to 5 men with non-split spacers, depending on the size of the mill, number of rolls, and the experience of the operator. Horseshoe spacers. Horseshoe spacers were among the first quick removal spacers developed by the industry. This type of spacers, as well as the horseshoe shines, create considerable problems. The open sections of a horseshoe spacers are in the same direction. In the case of small shaft diameters, the forces applied by over tightening the nuts at the end of the shafts can bend the shafts. The continuous flexing of the shafts at each revolution can create another problem. The top roll spacers can fall out and damage the next pass rolls. Therefore, manufacturers use spring-loaded ball locators to hold the horseshoe spacers in position. However, it is highly recommended not to use horseshoe spacers at all. Bolted and hinged split spacers. Bolted spacers have been used to avoid accidental falling of spacers from the shafts. These spacers will not fall out but the removal of the screws or other fasteners takes too much time. Hinged spacers somewhat reduce the time required to remove and install these bolted type spacers. Boltless spacers. A variety of boltless, quick removal spacers has been developed and successfully used. The removal and reinstallation of such split spacers may take less than one minute after the operator side stand is pulled out by a short distance. Split spacers are more expensive than one-piece spacers, but the extra cost can be quickly recovered by reducing the non-productive time. The spacer is the shaft sleeve. It is an important part used with the roller in the roll forming machine. Spacers are used to fix the rolls in the correct position on the spindles. 
Vertical adjustment of the top shaft fine-tunes the machine to accommodate specific rolls and material thickness. In fact, the spacer installs on the shaft of the roll-forming machine and is installed side by side with the roller, which plays the role of positioning the roller so that the rollers keep a precise position during the roll-forming process. The spacers and shimes are part of the roll set. At each shaft, the total lengths of the rolls, spacers, and shimes are equal to the roll space. The difference between a spacer and a shim relates to their length, application, and method of manufacturing. Spacers are long, usually between 4 to 150 mm the spacers are an integral part of the roll forming set. Shimes are thin, usually 0.025 to 2.5 mm the use of shimes should be avoided wherever possible. The total length of the rolls is dictated by good design practice. The difference between the available roll. Space and the roll length fill with less expensive spacers. Spacers are usually manufactured from seamless carbon steel tubes.